transform communities through science and technology. That is the NUSD's mantra. And as future teachers, we are here to keep the fire of excellence burning. Good day, learners. I am Joel S. De La Cruz Jr. of The Gears. Representing NUSD College of Education, we are here to present our technology-based instructional material for grade 7 science with the topic Ecological Relationships in an Ecosystem, entitled Alea the Explorer. The materials that a teacher uses to make the teaching easier are known as instructional materials. They can be concrete or non-concrete and include both visual and audiovisual aids. By motivating students to learn, these instructional materials bring learning to life. In line with this, the trend of continuous era transformation into digitalization created opportunities in developing teaching delivery. Teachers can use different formats and mediums to innovate their instructions. Now, more than ever, the need for inclusive instructional materials and teaching learning modalities is very much needed to reduce the widening gap of learning opportunities worsened by the health crisis. An all-encompassing holistic approach to education is interactive learning. Interactive class instructors are holistic because they emphasize student engagement with new material. Thus, interactive presentation encourages students to engage in discussions, critical thinking, and open-ended questioning rather than simply reciting information. In this lesson, we have utilized gamified interactive PowerPoint presentation. An interactive presentation consists of navigation, hyperlinks, and other similar means. In addition, gamification is a method of making the learning process more enjoyable and rewarding while also increasing productivity. Navigation and feedback are types of interactivities incorporated in this interactive PowerPoint presentation. The group used on-screen buttons to create a branching structure for navigation. In this section, you may find the lesson icon to proceed to the lesson proper, activities icon to assess your knowledge, and video icon for supplementary details of the lesson. This allows the user to choose which sections they want to visit or provide the option to learn more about the specific topics. The slides can be used to give feedback. Our group utilized giving feedback in this manner. Predation is when one organism eats another organism for food. The organism that is eaten is called the prey. Based on that definition, can you choose the right example for predation? Sorry, but this is not the correct example. Please try again. Great! Examples of predations are snakes that eat rat and lions that eat deer. As depicted on the screen, by presenting questions and providing options for responses, students make choices. They are either given feedback on the slide or taken to new slides that provide information if the scripting is correct. Feedback promotes increased engagement, control, and interest along with an immediate response. A gamified interactive PowerPoint presentation provides mutualistic benefits to students and teachers. Primarily, it allows active participation of students in the teaching learning process in the distance learning setup. Thus, in the current situation, 
the teacher can maximize the interactivity of the presentation to make the learning environment immersive despite the physical barrier. The radical transition to distance learning modalities limits student participation in the teaching learning process. However, with the use of interactive PowerPoint, students can now actively engage in the discussion because there is a big difference between someone conversing with you for a long time and someone speaking at you for a long time. The students will be more likely to tune in if they are to participate. At the same time, the teachers can maneuver their role as facilitators and let the flow of the teaching learning be indeed learner-centered. With interactive presentation, the borderline between active and passive teaching and learning will be reduced. When students understand how to navigate an interactive technology-based instructional material, they become responsible for their learning, as the material can teach them without the teacher involved. Furthermore, it provides a personalized approach. The parasitic symbiotic relationship is seen on the reef when isopods attach themselves to various reef fishes. These isopods occasionally with eat the tongue of its host's mouth and lives inside the host fish's mouth acting as a replacement tongue for the remainder of its life. Is it a fact or a bluff? The visual elements of the presentation and its gamified approach bring an entertaining and warming sensation to the learner's perspective. Inclusion of visually stimulating elements, thematized approaches to lesson content, combined with the student's engagement is the formula for a fun and productive learning. With this, students are more likely to retain the information that they learn because they enjoy the learning process. Hence, teachers should note that the subconscious effect of distinctive approaches such as gamification in the teaching method and in the teaching method transcends better feedback among learners, which is one of the indicators of effective teaching. Moreover, gamified interactive PowerPoint promotes inductive thinking. Look what I found! There's a challenge. Guess the gibberish word. Hmm. Roll as and ship. Roll as and ship. Roll as and ship. It is confusing. Can you help me with this? Oh, I think you're right. The word is relationship. Do you have one? I don't have one. Oh, uh, oops. We are not talking about romantic relationship. We are going to discuss about ecological relationship in an ecosystem. When students are compelled to conclude independently, as depicted on the screen, they are more interested and likely to participate. In a class where a teacher first narrates a problem, gives some helpful hints, and then allows students to solve the puzzle, students will be more engaged than in a class where the teacher does all the explanation tediously. Thus, it is not just favorable for the students, but also for teachers as they accomplish the goal of developing the students' higher-order thinking skills. With all the transformations happening in the educational setting in these prime times, everyone struggles to cope. Despite this, adaptation for development is always worthy of struggles. Technological advancements allowed us a silver lining and the opportunity to continuously provide inclusive, effective, and quality education to every Filipino learner. As they say in DepEd, 
all these endeavors are para sa bayan, para sa bata, and it will always be. Because the challenge in delivering education is never a game.